Hello everyone, Mike here with another Tips with Tash video. So today, we're going to be looking at a gameplay from Clawman, the clan leader of my clan Resolute, and pick apart kind of the good plays he makes and the bad plays he makes. So right there, he doesn't die, he doesn't take any damage, but he was not paying attention to his radar properly there. There was a guy coming out that door, rushing out that door guaranteed, and he could have been kind of just hard scoping that door with his hawk moon. Instead, he pushed. And if that was a guy with the blink shotgun or something like that, he could have died there um, because he, he really committed to that doorway push. Um, un, un, an unneeded commitment there. Here is another uh, example of, of kind of an unneeded commitment. He moved very far into that little alleyway, that jump up. If you're going to jump up like that, Take a little peek, stay on the edge, so you can drop down instantly. He was too far away at that point to back out. Um, his grenade, luckily, he, he got the kill, but he, he really needed to just kind of pop in there. So right here, you saw the footsteps there. He stopped scoping. A guy comes out and kills his friend. So if if Claw would have been hard scoping that, he might have got the kill. And he, he really didn't. He, he needed to be hard scoping there. Right here, he's making the right play. He's making the right play. Right play. All of that. Perfect. He should never have ever turned around in that situation. There were so many people on his radar, so many bad angles. He needed to keep running. And he did a, a great job there. That's exactly what he needed. Right here, again, a little bit ri uh, risky pushing in. Really risky throwing those throwing knives. And right here again, he's low, and he committed to sniping that guy. He also wasn't aiming at head level, so that was kind of risky. If you're going to be challenging like that, you have uh, essentially one shot till you're dead. You better be aiming at that head and committing to that head shot. There we go. Calming down now. I had to commentate a little quickly there. So what's next? Um, there's someone on the radar up to the left. Misses his grenade pretty badly there, and right here, he's in a very pinched situation. He's recognizing this, and he starts to run, but then he stops for the Hawkmoon shot. That should never be done. You either stay on the ground, and you commit to that shot, commit to getting that kill, or you jump through the air. He kind of did a in limbo thing, and it didn't work out for him. He got killed, he didn't get a kill, he did nothing. I am very happy, though, that he didn't use his super. He would have wasted it there if he if he popped it, so I'm, I'm glad he didn't. So let's actually pause it right here for something. So Clawman already recognized that someone was sniping him. He backs off, and that's good. But what he does here is he commits back into this snipe when someone's already hard scoping him. He should never have done that. The kind of the smarter play would to be slide forward, go beside where that heavy is, and either push to the left or the right, most likely the right, and change your angle. There was already kind of that guy committing to the sniping, hard scoping, and he could have snuck in at a good flank angle and gotten a free kill for the most part. If you are pushing into someone who's already hard scoping, it's for the most part never a good idea to just go one on one because he's already set up and you're trying to adjust, so it's a little bit tougher. Um, so right here, uh, we've got a guy on the other team, or sorry, on, on, on Clawman's team here pushing the other heavy. He's setting up for the heavy here. Pretty standard. Um, if the guy's going to be all the way on the other side of the map, you kind of want to do this. Push up with your heavy, get a nice little kill, and that was great. He, he just shut down a heavy there. It would have been great if he got the double kill there, but that's just... I mean, there's, there's no uh, better way that uh, Clawman could have played that. So right here, there is two heavies up on the other team. This is not a good situation. He should be recognizing here that uh, that guy was very close by the by the radar. He did, and you know he, he got the kill. That was great. He didn't commit too too much, and right there, perfect. That was the guy that had the heavy machine gun, who for whatever reason was jumping in the air. So he got another kill. He's got a super up, and if I were him, I would be reloading that rocket, getting prepped for a, a panic situation, and super. However. The Nova Bomb came in, so while it would have been optimal for him to get a super off, get some kills with that, and then uh, and then use his heavy to get more super, it just didn't work out because of that Nova Bomb. So right here, he just wants to be looking for a good opportunity to use his super. Right here, awful play. One of the worst ones of the game. Uh, he jumps up, throws a grenade, cool. He got the kill, it was nice and flashy. Never, ever should he have made that play, though. He committed to jumping up to a guy that was already there, he saw on his radar, was in a far better position, and he could have easily been killed there, even with his own grenade damage. So, just not the smart play there, Clawman. Um, you, you need to definitely watch that radar a bit more. So right there, he popped a super. It was okay. Nothing amazing. One of the guys died before we could use it, and no big deal. 
Right there, Claw Man. I'm not sure why you are hip firing. You got the kill, but that was very, very risky. Um, especially with something like Hawk Moon. If it's last word, I can understand, but things like Hawk Moon and Thorn, those are not hip fire weapons 99% of the time. Um, so that was just a little sloppy, a little bit of a of misplay that could have really got him killed. Right here. Uh, shooting a little bit quick for my liking. He should be cadencing his shots a little bit more because Hawkmoon isn't the best spam weapon. Again, hip firing. That's not going to help anyone. Missing his revive there. He should have committed to the kill. This guy's got full health now. Um, you know, he, he pushed in really hard there. Got the stick. But that was honestly just a lucky panic stick. And uh, it, he made quite a few errors there. Shouldn't be hip firing. Should not have committed to that revive in a gunfight. Never commit to a revive in a gunfight. Get the kill first, and then do it from safety. 90% it, of the time, it's going to fuck you up, and you're going to get killed anyways. So just don't do it. Right there. Amazing bubble top mid. <laughs> so uh, the only error I'm going to say here is, again, not watching his radar. There was two guys to the left side there. One coming up right beside him, and he, he really failed to recognize that. Leave the guy in the bubble. Who gives a shit about the guy in the bubble? That, that guy is literally useless inside of that bubble, and um, you need to just leave him alone. So right here, this was actually a pretty good play if he would have landed his snipes. He made a great push, a nice flank, he was at a good angle to snipe, and he just didn't, didn't land those shots. But he made the right play, he just didn't execute it uh, as good as could've, it could have been. So right here, um, there is a lot of, of stuff going on on the opposite side there. I probably would have done the same, stay a little bit back, um, do try and, you know, pick off one of those guys using rockets, but, you know, unfortunately no one kind of came into his line of sight there. Maybe if he would have moved a little bit more forward and got some hawk moon shots off, it would have helped. There was a nice little body shot and headshot, that was good, didn't waste any extra uh, sniper ammo, he was actually out of ammo and he recognized that instantly, so that was very good. And now... You know, we're at the at the end of the game, they're doing pretty darn good as a team. So it's it's now just about cleaning up these kills, getting some nice ones. Um, this push here, probably pretty safe. But again, he rushes in there, and, and if you're going to do that, he should have been really slowly taking that corner. Aiming, hard scoping down the corner, and, and moving around the corner while you're aiming. That allows you to instantly shoot someone if they do pop around. And instead, he just kind of runs in, sprinting in, and he doesn't have his gun ready and prepped. Not that it would have saved him in that situation, but for the most part, he was uh, he was just being a little bit too rushed, too quick to, to do it. So right there, um, I, again, the only thing I would, have, I would have liked to see is a little bit better play uh, with his radar. He should have recognized that the guy was jumping around to the left side, but uh, that's that's honestly a lot of practice and, and really understanding your radar and reading it properly. So overall, Koaman did pretty good. He had some decent plays, could have executed a couple snipes a bit better, uh, should have you know relaxed with his Hawk Moon a little bit and, and taken a little bit of time with his shots, um, not hit fired as much. He also, unfortunately, was he was a little rushed this game. He pushed a little bit too much without being uh, kind of ready for what the radar was telling him. Good game, my friend, and thank you for using the, or letting me use this as a video. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.